PS5 and Xbox Series X pre-orders went up yesterday. Let's talk about it right now. Hey guys, welcome back to Pop Games. So yesterday we had some information online and it turns out we had Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S pre-orders going live at Best Buy and that was a complete surprise, which you know, a lot of people weren't ready for that, but at the same time, I love it when they do the whole surprise drop because when they put pre-orders up for, you know, on surprise like that, basically it takes the bots, the people that, that resell the stuff, the bots, it takes them a while longer to be able to, you know, go ahead and set up and all that stuff. So it's like a surprise for them. And then real people, like all the consumers, all the fans, all the gamers, they get to actually get the console. I saw a bunch of people that were uh, successful getting their Xbox Series Xs yesterday from Best Buy. We also had a surprise drop later during the day, and that was from Gamefly. And this time that was for the PS5. If I see anything drop, I will post it on Twitter, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. That is Real Pop Games. That was a bundle though. It wasn't just a console, you know, it came with like, you know, a nine month membership to uh, Gamefly and stuff like that. I believe the price was around $800. Don't quote me though, because I didn't buy it myself, but I believe it was around 800. Let me know in the comments down below if you bought it and if you paid that much. Also, I think uh, you needed to be a member of the website of Gamefly in order to participate. But some people went ahead and they did the whole trial membership and then they did it that way. So that was pretty cool. So it was a surprise day yesterday. Xbox and PS5 dropped. Now, I know a lot of people just want to go ahead and get pre-orders from basically the big companies like Best Buy, Walmart, Target, and GameStop. They want more of those companies and Amazon. And Gamefly is not a huge company when it comes to gaming. I mean, they do have a bunch of like, you know, services there for gamers. You can rent games from their website and stuff like that. But they're not a huge department store that is known for being, you know, uh, getting these consoles from and a lot of people feel safer when they get consoles from a big store rather than something smaller but the thing about that is that you know we didn't see any bots or any problems with people ordering from there which the whole becoming a member of Gamefly kind of helped so hopefully you know people are learning all these different companies are learning and they go ahead and make stuff available for consumers and gamers so that we can go ahead and get these consoles now i don't know how many other companies are going to put up any more pre-orders i don't even know if it's going to happen at all right now you know we're getting late in the year and i keep saying that it's tougher and tougher for people to put up pre-orders so right now it's just going to be hey make sure if no pre-orders go up which you know that's a good chance of happening if they don't go up for sale, make sure you have a plan for release day. A lot of people keep asking me, hey, are the consoles gonna be available in stores on release day and you know, following release day? Yes, I mean, that's the whole point of launching a console. They're supposed to be in stores. Now, the thing is that they might sell out fast if people don't plan ahead of time. I know Target is gonna avoid the whole camping out thing as i mentioned in my last video they're trying to do the online ordering stuff like buying online using store pickup or drive up pickup or whatever like that check out my last video if you want more information on that but that is what target is doing on day one which is november 12th after november 12th they will sell the rest of their consoles in stores you can go in store and purchase them there now Again, they might sell out super fast because everybody wants one, right? So I think that that is a good, you know, thing for gamers to be able to plan ahead and see what they can do. Also, make sure you check out where your local Best Buy, your local Walmart, your local Game Stops. Make sure you call them ahead of time and ask them, hey, what is going on? What are your plans for release day? Are you going to let people order online on release day or are you going to go ahead and let people go into your stores line up out the door and buy consoles that way. Those are the huge big questions. And this year is so weird with COVID-19. Things are destroyed. Everything is just like so weird when it comes to buying and being in crowds and stuff like that. And I can see a lot of companies trying to, you know, control those crowds and not let this disease spread. So hopefully, you know, they, they let people know what their plans are, but you guys go ahead and call them ahead of time. I keep saying that in my videos, 
call them ahead of time before you make any plans to camp out or to line up early or to get there early or whatever it is you're trying to plan. Call the different companies ahead of time so you don't waste your time and you don't, you know, you're not in there for six hours in line outside by yourself and then you're like, oh, well, no one's here, what's going on? So make sure you do your research, guys. Make sure you call around and make sure that, you know, you have a plan set in stone that you can go ahead and uh, get this console. Hopefully you guys can all get one on release day or shortly thereafter. Again, they're gonna sell out super fast, so it's important for you guys to stay you know, aware of things. I will post anything at all. If it comes available on Twitter, I'll just go ahead and shoot out a tweet. Hey, this is available right now. You know what I'm saying? Like something like that along those lines. That's what I'll say if I see anything pop off on any of the retailers, both for online or if there's any stuff going on in store that day, I'll just go ahead and make sure that I share it with you guys. Also guys, I will be taking off on November 12th and 13th to make sure I do like a live stream with a PS5, maybe a live unboxing or something like that. So I'll, I'll let you guys know more of that later on as we get closer. But right now, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait for the PS5 to come out. I wanna be able to you know, hold that and, and just you know, experience the new power of the PlayStation 5 along with Spider-Man Miles Morales. That's gonna be the first game that I'm gonna play. Let me know in the comments down below what you wanna see me play uh, the PS5, like all the games you'd like for me to see. And I'm talking about first party games and third party games that are gonna be available at launch or close to launch, let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure to cover those games here on this channel, maybe do some gameplay, some reviews or something like that, just to make sure that we all go ahead and talk about these awesome video games. All right guys, thank you guys for stopping by. I appreciate all your support. Thank you all for checking out my content. I uploaded a funny skit video yesterday. I don't know if you saw it, but a bunch of people were really happy and it made them laugh. It was basically the whole story of ordering online from you know these retailers. It was me going ahead and selecting, uh, trying to check out with the PS5 and not being able to get it. And then it turns into a mysterious figure ordering these things online using an awesome bot code. It's called the best bot 1.0. And uh, yeah, that person got 1,000 PS5s. And at the end, you see the reveal and that person is doing a happy dance. Let me know in the comments down below if you saw that video again. Check it out on my channel. It's supposed to be a joke. I don't know if people took it seriously. Some people, I see like a lot of people disliking that video, so I think a lot of people took it too serious. It was just supposed to be a joke, guys. You know, this channel, I tell you guys the facts when it's fact, and then I do spoofs like that. It's supposed to be funny. It's not supposed to be anything, you know, too serious. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate all your support. Thank you for everything. I'll catch you guys later. Stay tuned till my next video. If I see anything drop, I will post it on Twitter, so make sure you follow me on Twitter. That is Real Pop Games. Catch you later. Peace out and stay safe.